the arts region is a microcosm of Australia. Its towns and villages carry stories of early Australian peoples, with its new arrivals, its eccentrics, its entrepreneurs and its dreamers. Those stories ripple across the Riverina region, along with the Murrumbidgee River and the life it gives to the landscape. Let's share them with you. A very young Mr Takasuka rode his bicycle from his family home in Swan Hill, Victoria in 1914 to Yanko to share his father's knowledge of rice growing with a team of curious agricultural scientists. Stand where the grain he carried in saddlebags for 400 kilometres was planted and imagine that seed as it germinated giving birth to a new industry and an adventure for a vast number of farming pioneers. And then there's the echo of famous Australian poet and writer Henry Lawson. His cottage in Leeton played a vital role in Henry's failing days. Henry's struggle with drink brought him to Leeton to dry out. He foiled the plan and Leeton's prohibition laws by bringing alcohol quite near to his door via the train from Narandra. Perhaps before his run with the local prohibition laws, Lawson described Leeton as the most cosmopolitan place I have ever been in and perhaps the most naturally intellectual and democratic. Leeton is now well known for its remarkable Art Deco architecture in which hide a thousand stories for you to unfold. In 1917, Henry described Narandra as that pretty, solid, green-clad, cool, cleanly, drowsy, boozy and honest town. Today, Narandra can only be described as an elegant town. Its history, its environment, offer a unique country town experience. Narandra's most obvious cultural attraction is its rich heritage. The town also offers a variety of cultural experiences, including commercial galleries, a theatre, the storylines for best-selling novels, Aboriginal art studios and a rich Chinese heritage. Michael collects his raw materials in the bush draws from Indigenous practice across Australia and learns from his father and grandfather to carve out a living enterprise in artefacts in Narandra. The small township of Wheaton developed around a camp for bullock teams heading to the paddle steamers at Darlington Point, then became the major loading point for wheat, wool and copper ore. Explore the rich rural tapestry of Griffith, my hometown. A vibrant city with a diverse cultural population, a humming contemporary art scene and powerful historical tales. The importance of the landscape is reflected everywhere in Griffith via a self-sculptured curtain at the regional theatre and the stained glass window, a kaleidoscope of colour portraying the local landscape as seen from the hill. Is this what the Hermit on the Hill would have seen? Griffith is a melting pot of cultures and you will see the influences of this everywhere in the food, in our history and in our unique cultural identity. Just imagine the courage it took for young Italians men and young families crossing the world to Australia and heading inland to the emerging irrigation town of Griffith in search of new beginnings and a brighter future. You'll get a sense of their industry, their families missed and friendships formed in a foreign land at the Italian Cultural Museum at Pioneer Park on the hill. What can I say? I'm passionate about the town that I live and I invite you to explore it too. We look forward to seeing you in the Western Riverina.